I copied Polarized warm up routine for one week to see how much it would improve my mechanics. Messing up builds and edits has become a common theme in my fighting videos, costing me kills and sometimes leads to my death. Polarized has some of the best mechanics on the region, so I'm gonna see if copying his warm up routine will help me be more consistent. The routine starts off in Marta's Turtle Wars map for about 30 minutes to warm up his aiming mechanics. I haven't played this map since I switched to keyboard and mouse at the start of chapter 2, so this was a nostalgic experience for me. I was missing a lot of shots to start, but as it got warmed up, my aim got better. Next we jump into Raiders Peace Control map version 3 starting in the Peace Control section. Polar I said when running through these drills, make sure you're making smart edits and hitting headshots just like you would against a real player. Also, in the small delay after killing the bot, get into the habit of resetting the wall to prevent any return damage which I tried to do here. After that we move on to the Peace Control Tunnel section. I've always done Peace Control Tunnels and Raiders Mechanics map so these were brand new to me. I ran through them but stopped a lot because I forgot the direction I needed to go next. The only tunnel I had no trouble with was number 1 which was significantly easier than the other 5 so I didn't play that at all after today. Next part of the routine is free building on different speeds. You start off on point 8 while keeping your crosshair placement tight and then it's consistent. Then you move on to 1.4 speed and try to do whatever you're capable of and for me that wasn't much. I tried to at least replicate the tunnels he did but I couldn't get the floor above my head and settled for an easier version of it. Then you wrap up the routine with free building on regular speed. After free building on fast speed, editing feels a lot easier and more intentional. I just did whatever free builds I felt comfortable with here just to set a benchmark for the week. Day 2 I jumped straight into Turtle Wars after recording a no crosshair video and that may be a cheat code because my aim was feeling good. For the peace control drills, I picked some different scenarios while applying the same rules. I played this map in the past, but it's never felt as beneficial as it does now because I'm trying to simulate a real game scenario rather than just going through the motions. I tried tunnels 4 and 5 today and messed up a bit but picked up on it quicker than yesterday. I'm not known for my fast edits, so when free building on slow speed, I tried to push my edits and do things I struggle with on normal speed. I wasn't going for anything flashy or useless like spam edits or resets, just quad edits up then alternating quad edits down then back up. On the faster speed, you could tell I've gotten more comfortable with it and know what I could do while staying relatively consistent. Going back to normal speed, I tried doing moves I knew but didn't do too often and tried to get comfortable enough with them to add into my everyday builds. Feeling pretty good after this warm up, I decided to hop into ranked and see how my mechanics feel while fighting but this was during the last few days of season 3 so every game was ending like this. I combined day 3 and 4 because they are fairly similar. In Turtle Wars, I played less like headshot map and actually tried to use my mechanics to hit a few edit courses. I was minding my own business trying to get some clips for the video when this menace joined and somehow managed to ruin any clip I tried to hit. I did both the side jump drills and tried to simulate scenarios that would actually happen in game. My movement was pretty good and I stayed consistent on my builds, I just need to make sure I'm getting my crosshair placement right so I don't miss these walls when trying to piece. On day 3 I started to feel improvement in the tunnels and by day 4 I was running through them with little to no issue. Moving on to free builds, I'm still pushing my edit speed but adding more variety to my builds rather than just spamming quad edits. I figured out some builds I could do on 1.4 speed somewhat consistent and was able to start stringing them together and got a lot more comfortable building on this speed. I needed to learn some new builds since I was already comfortable with everything I knew so I copied moves polarized in the video and by day 4 I already integrated them into my regular builds. Although I gave up on ranked I still played some creative where my mechanics felt much faster and consistent. Positions don't got enough movement. Day 5 was a start of season 4 which meant I didn't have to get terrorized by anime items anymore so I ran through the whole routine then got straight into rank to see if the improvement was noticeable in game.
I was so much more confident to use my mechanics and I actually had to remind myself not to edit course everything because I was trying to clip everyone I fought and would trade lots of damage. But best believe I was still gonna hit my edit courses in Turtle Wars. In the peace control drills, I found that I struggle with my movement when it comes to going backwards and crouching, so I played these two scenarios that required me to do that. I don't know why it felt so weird to do it at first, but I kept accidentally jumping when trying to crouch or uncrouch on my peak, but eventually got the hang of it and hit this clip the same day. The last few days of peace control tunnels, I was able to run through all of them relatively smooth, not messing up many edits, and felt like my movement could have been better, so that's what I focused on here. My edits have gotten so consistent on the slow free build that I started to add some of those unnecessary reset edits into my builds while also going to build sequences with lots of edits in them. Even in my fast builds, I was trying to incorporate more edits. I would sometimes have to change the direction I was running in to slow myself down in order to complete the edit, but for the most part, I tried to stay running at full speed while building. I fully incorporated the moves I learned from Polarized a few days ago, and now they're just a part of my regular free builds. In the last day of Turtle Wars, I think I hit some of my best clips of the week. For the peace control drills, I felt hiding behind peaks and resetting after I shoot became second nature and I just need to make sure I'm always doing that in game. The peace control tones were no problem at this point and I felt like my movement really improved from the first time I played them. For slow and fast free builds, I kept it short just showcasing the consistency and speed I reached over the week. For my regular free builds, I took two moves I saw Polarized do in different videos and tried to copy them. I'm obviously not as fast or efficient as him, but now that I have the moves down, I just need to practice them more. I hopped in the rank one last time to see how much progress I really made this week, so here are the results after one week of doing the polarized warm-up routine. Overall, I think this routine definitely helped me improve my consistency with builds and edits and showed me the importance of practicing just like a real game. I probably won't continue to do the full routine now, but I'll definitely take part of it and add it to my routine. Shout out to Polarize for dropping this warm-up routine, and if you want to check it out, I put the link to the video in the description. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.